Well, Kenny, now we have it. That's the pre-season out of the way. You must be quietly satisfied with the finale. Yeah, not bad at all. You know, thanks to you, Chet, for bringing such a strong side over. And, you know, it's a great test for us and, and a good game. And, you know, for our crowd anyway, you're seeing somebody, you know, different and outside of our level and, and obviously outside of our shores. And, you know, with, with real quality, when you, you see the strike for the gold, it's excellent. Uh, our crowd... Uh, turned up in good numbers, I felt, uh, for the, the game that it is and, um, you know, for the players anyway. It was another good workout and, um, you know, we're really fo focused now and looking forward to next week. When you look at the two strongest sides you played in Brighton and today, it, you, you really, you've really bossed both of the games, so that must be pleasing. It is pleasing, but, you know, we also lost to Stevenage as well, so you have to have a little bit of balance and um, n none of them are in your level. You know, it is what it is, it is pre-season. I, I have been pleased with the players, and there's no doubt about that. You know, the integration of the new lads and uh, the way the other lads have responded, I have been pleased with the pre-season, but uh, that's exactly what it is. Uh, the real stuff starts now, and, uh, you know, we can focus Monday on this first batch of games uh, that come thick and fast for us. Ronan Curtis looked particularly lively today. Yeah, there's, there's a, you know, a number of our lads that have given us either you know, something that we haven't got and, um, uh, or, or, or have just added competition and that's what new signings are all about. Um, we want to be as fit as we can this year and as strong as we can this year at times. You know, we struggled for numbers, we struggled for substitutes, we struggled for different ways of of overcoming problems that you get at you know a, a very good level and competing in the in the top ten of League One is a very good level and that's that's where we want to be again uh, we want to be you know doing our best to, uh, to 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 get one of those you know uh, playoff places if we can but you know words are cheap it's easy saying it and we have to do it we have to, we're the ones got to earn every single point this season so you know in terms of pre-season anyway yeah there's some good signs and um, I'm pleased with the players' application and togetherness it has been good and it has built up uh, very well. Well, and now we have to just um, make sure that we can focus on, on, on next week and, and enjoy a big start to the season. Two goals were probably out of context with the game itself. Yeah, maybe so. And, you know, we had a high number of chances, I thought, during the game. As uh, One was just offside in the, you know, in the first half. They probably had one for handball that was disallowed, which, you know, I haven't seen again. But uh, after that, you know, we had a high amount of chances uh, in, in, in both halves of the game. And that's encouraging for us. Anton Walks, word about his goal? Yeah, it was a, an excellent strike. We're pleased that you know he's, he's, he's back after his loan spell last year. Good performance today. It's his first 90 minutes. He's just got here just in time. Um, uh, 45 minutes last Saturday. Um, um, you know, went one better in the week against Brighton. You know, so going to, uh, into the second period, and then the full 90 today. At, you know, central midfield and right back uh, came through it okay, and you know, up for selection next Saturday, and and fully match fit, which is good. Worryingly for you, Jamel Lowe came off towards the end. Any news on him? No, he just just uh, felt his ankle slightly. We'll see how he is. You know, we we, we it doesn't seem or appear to be too bad, but you know, that's what you have a squad for, and you know, we have to be ready. You know, with with all the eventualities, because whether it be this this week, or, or or whether it be during the course of the season, these things happen, and you know you have to be organised, you have to be ready, and you need players that are, that are strong enough to, to 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 come in. That's if you want to be successful. So from Monday, your thoughts go to Luton and the start of the season. Does intensity in training go up a notch? I think that um, in terms of intensity in training in terms of focus we've we've gradually built up and, and and so it should you know I thought there was some sluggishness I wasn't really pleased with what I saw at Stevenage really to be honest with you I don't think uh, we did well enough although we created a lot of chances and just changed direction a little bit since then uh, it's been needed and uh, for us anyway uh, the players have responded very, very well in that period both in possession and out of possession we have to keep working hard we have to keep trying to improve and as I say it's one thing having some some ambition to to have a successful season and we have that ambition right the way through the club and myself and the players do have that you know we're the ones got to work hard to to achieve that and to earn it and we do know that if we get things right, if we can, you know, work as hard as possible, if we apply ourselves, you know, in the right way, we've got a crowd that will get behind us, that are looking to, you know, see positive things, and um, that's that can be a, you know, a, a big tool for us in terms of being successful.
Finally, do you foresee any additions in the next week? We're hoping. We're hoping that um, you know we can bring one or two in, whether that's in the next week or or in the next month. I don't know. You know, I wouldn't say that we're we're just closed though, and um, ju you know we're we're, we're always looking. You know, I wouldn't say there'd be a high number, but if there's one or two between now and you know whichever deadline, that would be our aim. Uh, um, uh, I wouldn't say though. You know, we have one lined up, and we're just uh, gonna just close in on one in the next couple of days but we are actively looking and you know Mark Catlin, Tony Brown are you know working hard to do deals.